guys. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a journal with me uh, for this week. Uh, I kind of have a, a few days done. Um, I kind of flip through these uh, for the last week. Uh, I didn't do a video on them uh, just because the kids were home and my husband was home and it was just a lot to try to kind of manage that. So uh, just kind of flip through these. And so that brings us to Tuesday the 14th. So let's go ahead and get started. I um, just want to say welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hit 200 subscribers this week and um, that really just made my whole week. So I was very excited. So thank you for being here and thank you for subscribing. Uh, and I really hope that you enjoy this video. So uh, I'm just gonna, uh, kind of like my last journal with me video that I did, I'll just kind of chat and um, you can kind of see my process and we'll just kind of get to know each other a little bit. So my process is a little bit chaotic. So I hope that you can bear with me, uh, but it is, yeah, it's what, it's just kind of the way I do it. So, um, anyway, I hope that it's, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, okay. So I always go and prep my pages with some watercolor. I got really bored this past weekend and went ahead and prepped all the pages through the month of May. <laughs> so tried some, uh, different, uh, techniques or whatever, just kind of putting multiple colors on the page and stuff like that. So I have all those done through the month of May. So um, that's what I do just to kind of prep my pages. And sorry if you can hear my dogs walking on the floor. I apologize for that, their little toenails clicking. It's kind of annoying, but okay. So I have been trying to keep track, day 29, okay, of the day that we are in for quarantine. Uh, grab, actually move this pen and caddy thing over a little bit. Um, trying to keep track of the day that we're on for the quarantine self isolation, whatever we're calling it. Um, because we are, I live in Iowa, and we're not currently under a stay-at-home order um, for the state uh, or county. Um, just very tight restrictions, so not really sure what to call it, but yeah. So I am going to write those down there for the days I'm working on right now. Okay, sorry about that guys. I had to put my dogs in the kennel because they were walking around and yeah, it was really annoying. Okay, so I'm heading right down the days, day 30 and 31 of this whole quarantine thing. And now I wanna take, I think I wanna do some washi. And yeah, I, I can't really say, it's not like my planning. My planning, when I plan my weeks, I have a very kind of specific way of um, doing that and like an order of things. This is very random. <laughs> so yeah, I don't, yeah. Typically I, I'll start with some washi, add some stickers, do some, it's just all really all over the place, so. Okay, I need to actually grab my planner here because, you know, it's like, it's Friday today, Friday the, what is it, 17th, um, and this week feels like, it just, time is just dragging on with this whole thing, right? Like, I can't remember what happened when. It's crazy. Okay, so I want to, let me think here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put down some washi. So while I'm doing that, let's have a little chat. Can I get to know each other a little bit? Um, I am, um, yeah, I've been, I've been kind of struggling this last few weeks, uh, which like I know a lot of people have, and I've been doing a lot more um, crafting and things like that to kind of keep my hands busy. Um, and I, I kind of realized that that was kind of what I needed, you know, like, oh man, it's just it's so crazy. And we're stuck in the house. Uh, we do live uh, in the country, so we have the option to be able to go outside whenever we want and we don't have to worry about running into people or uh, anything like that. And so that's really nice. So we can go outside whenever we want. Um, but yeah, you just, you see the people in your house all the time and it can just be, you know, like you just, I'm a social person. So for me to be in the house all the time is, it's just, it's difficult, but um, yeah, it's what we have to do right now. And so, and everybody's in the same boat. And so it's, it is what it is. And um, yeah, there isn't anything that any of us can do about it. So we just have to make the best of it. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I, um, yeah, so let me know in the comments below how you're doing and let me know what you've been doing to keep yourself occupied. Um, I know for myself, um, in the Happy Scrappy group, uh, Sam, the owner, she uh, actually made all of her digital files free um, for like a week, last week. And I was, I, I haven't really done a lot of digitals because it's just, it's intimidating to me. Um, but I decided to go ahead and buy those since they were free. So I went on her website and picked some that I really liked and saved those to my computer. And I've been kind of playing around with those and printing off some cute stuff to use in my planner. And um, yeah, I think it's, I think that's been really good for myself to kind of stay busy like that because yeah, it's just, it's like when your hands are busy or when your hands are occupied, your, your mind, yeah, you don't fall into that hole that your mind can kind of pull you down into when you're, when you're idle. And we really just have so much time on our hands right now. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And I've also been, um, planning a, a change to my wallet set up. And um, you'll kind of see that. Uh, I'll probably work on it next week maybe and do some videos about it. But um, yeah, so I've been kind of working on that and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna print some digital papers to use for that. So I'm really excited. And um, that will be, it'll be a TN style wallet. Uh, right now I use a Print Pressions week, Weeks calendar with um, inside of a Apple Pig Leather wallet and it works really well. Um, but I just was like, you know, kind of wants, I, I need a, a change, I need like a project and a change for springtime to my wallet. You know how that is when you kind of get that itch to um, change things up a little bit. Yeah, that's totally where I'm at. So I, um, I'm gonna kind of be pulling that together in the next couple weeks and hopefully make a video of that process of putting that together. So I think that should be fun. So so right now I'm just kind of sorting through these um, stickers I have here and wanting to pull out some that I'm gonna use. Um, yeah, so 
that's kind of what I've been up to. Uh, we homeschool, so we've been doing that. Uh, our schools just today announced that um, in Iowa that they're going to be closed for the rest of the year. Um, not a big shocker. And honestly, it doesn't really affect uh, doesn't really affect us a whole lot. My kids do uh, do some things at the local school, so they're they're kind of um, upset about that. But I've been preparing them over the last few weeks. Like I just kind of knew that the schools probably were going to close. Um, and I just wanted them to be ready for that. So it didn't come as a huge shock to them. So, um, yeah, so the schools are closed for the rest of the year. We homeschool, um, and we're finishing that up. So that kind of keeps us busy for a couple hours a day. And yeah, my chores and things like that. And that's where I was like starting to feel like every single day was the same, you guys. Like, oh my goodness, I just couldn't. Yeah, when when Sam put all of her digitals for free, I was like, okay, this is this is gonna be good. Like this is, this is helpful. <laughs> so it was just like one of those things where you, you just get stuck in that rut where every, Everything I was doing was either a chore around the house or homeschooling. And which, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom. That's my job, right? That's what I do. But I think it's something in your head where you cannot go outside. Or you, not outside, but you can't go anywhere. Like, I can't go get my hair cut and it needs cut really badly. Um, I can't go, you know, make a trip to the bigger city that has a Michaels and a Hobby Lobby and all that, I can't do that right now. And it's like, which I normally, it's not like I made those trips a lot, but I think the fact that just knowing that you can't do it, it's just irritating. And you kind of get into that space in your head where you're like, oh, I'm gonna go crazy in these four walls. I need something else to look at. So having projects to do. That's kind of why I decided to go ahead and I've been thinking about the wallet thing for a while and I just decided to go ahead and do it and I needed I need that right now. So going through and um you know picking out papers and die cuts and you know the process um has just been really good for me. So I think it's just one of those things that um yeah it's all of this is really heavy stuff. And, you know, I think it's the, all the things that are happening right now in, in this world is just really heavy. And um, so doing this kind of stuff, this uh, for me is my creative outlet. And so doing this kind of stuff just... Um, yeah, it fills my cup, I guess. And so I just really um, find a lot of joy and, oh, what's the word? Um, fulfillment in doing these kinds of things. And um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. And I think it's, you know, definitely a time right now where we all need to um, find those things that make us happy and give us fulfillment. So setting up the TN and things like that, that's, it's the process of all that and kind of the, um, you know, pulling all the papers together and planning dashboards and then, and then the actual art of um, putting it all together. That's the best part. <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys have been up to and how you're doing. Um, like how you're really doing, not like, you know, when somebody asks you, hi, how are you? And you're like, oh, I'm fine. And you're really not fine. Yeah. Comment down below. Let me know how you're really doing. And let me know what you're doing to keep yourself occupied. If you have any fun projects or anything like that. Um, 
definitely let me know because I love stuff like that. And I love hearing from other people what kinds of different things that they're working on. So it's, we're all in this thing together and yeah, we're going to be here for a while, I think. So <laughs> going to make the best of it. Okay. So I kind of have that stuff put down there. Um, and I think I'm going to grab some of this dark washi tape here. Aren't washi tapes like the best thing ever? Ugh, what would I do with that washi? I love it. I use it all the time. I, I don't really have like a huge collection of washi. I have a decent collection. I have that the three drawer, the three acrylic drawers that you saw earlier. Um, full. I mean, they're pretty full. I told myself when I started all this, I was like, you know, I'm not going over three, uh, those three drawers. I'm not going to buy another one. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. And so far I've stuck to it. So that has surprised me actually that I've stuck to that, but yeah. Okay. So I, uh, I'm just kind of pulling in just random stuff here. Uh, I haven't really started putting down, um, like the or character stickers and things like that. This is just deco. Um, so I wanted to notate that it snowed on Wednesday and I'm trying to find, I think it's in this little pile over here. Um, oops, this one. yeah, so we woke up, um, Wednesday morning to snow, uh, like two inches of snow. And it was very unexpected. Even the weather people were like, uh, surprise. <laughs> like, okay, that's not cool because it's, it's April in Iowa. So it's not like outside of the realm of, you know, normalcy for it to be um, before it to snow. And actually there uh, it was like 1973, there was a huge snowstorm and yeah. So I think there was, I don't know, I don't know how much snow there was, but it was huge. And so that, you know, it's not crazy that it snowed right now, but you know, with everything that's going on, it's just like, really snow, really? And then um, today, which is Friday, uh, it snowed again overnight. And we got another probably three inches, which the two inches that fell on Wednesday uh, did melt by the end of the day. And it's in the afternoon right now on Friday. And the snow is currently melting. It's almost gone. So, you know, it's not horrible, but I don't love it. So I put down a little munchkin with a little scarf on from Once More With Love. And I'm, I got these cute cat stickers. Well, maybe there's like the corgis. Anyway, they're animals and animal butts uh, <laughs> in my Happy Scrappy uh, February box. This was one of the free, freegies and she calls them freegies. Um, in the box and they're so cute and I just think they're adorable so I'm just putting them down all right so um I want to find something to journal on here but I don't I need to find more boxes like this. If you guys have any suggestions, because I I don't mind writing um, on the pages themselves, but I like when I can write on something because it he doesn't want to stick down there. Um, because I just think it I don't know. Anyway, it's just kind of preference, but 
So let me know if you guys have any um, ideas for things that you can journal on. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna write in black ink today. And Tuesday was a pretty normal day for us. We didn't really have anything too exciting, which is, you know. The one thing that did happen, which I was actually super excited about, is my Happy Scrappy box from February came. So I'm gonna use one of these Kina Prints little sub box stickers to kind of notate that. Um, and it was, yeah, it was February's kit and I did an unboxing of it on my channel here. So uh, I'll link that if you're interested in watching it. Um, super cute theme. Uh, and it was two months late because of this stupid virus. And so uh, it was it was nice. It was really nice to get that. So I'm just going to write that. And really, it was like a pretty basic day. Um, I did film... I'll grab one of these little... I did film a that unboxing of the Happy Scrappy kit. And and yes, this little Keurig. I do not have a Keurig, but I thought these stickers were so cute. extra coffee needed on that day. So, and you know, I wasn't sure. I went with the A6 for my journal this year and I really wasn't sure like, oh, is it gonna be big enough? And now with kind of all this stuff, you know, where everything's been canceled, um, I mean, I've kind of, Kind of glad actually that I got the smaller one because I don't feel the need to well you know how when you you go to decorate and journal and you're like well nothing really happened today yeah it's you have a whole huge blank page and you just don't know really what to write in there so I don't have to worry about that with this and I love all of the stickers and washi and all of it so to me, it's it's like a little art project, so. Okay, let's see, right about it. Wait, how I woke up to snow. And let's see, oh yeah, I got caught up on my journaling, so. I'll try to find. Uh, I want to use, you know how when you have, you know, you know that there's a sticker that you're looking for and you just cannot find it. Uh, I think I'm going to put it right here. And actually, oh, here. I wanted this little sticker with the writing and the washi. Let's do the washi too. Because why not? Right? Stickers. Oh my goodness. You guys, I just cut, I cut all my nails off a couple weeks ago and they're just really unhealthy. And so, um, I have been keeping them short and oh, sometimes getting stickers off the page is like ridiculously hard. All right, and let's see. I also, this little star here, I worked on the kids' grades.
uh, actually just my daughter's. She's um, a freshman. And so um, I have to keep track of her grades. My son is uh, in fifth grade and so I don't have to do that yet um, for him. So, and I think I wanna do another one of these leaves, little branches. Uh, yeah, so I th think that's probably it. There just is not a lot to write about, guys. I don't know. Okay. Um, so for Thursday and f today, I, I think I'm just going to do Thursday, and then I'll do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think maybe in another video, um, because I imagine this is probably getting long already. And... I'm gonna go with super colorful. All right. So Thursday, yesterday, um, I was able. I went ahead and sold some stuff on through Facebook and my Instagram just kind of doing some spring cleaning and I don't like to hang on to things that I know I'm not going to use so um, I was able to list them on um, those places for sale so I needed to go to the post office and I tried you know I don't know what's up with uh, PayPal and the postal service lately but I Anytime that I have a package, that is really crooked. <laughs> um, anytime I have a package that has to go priority, it wants to charge me like almost twice of what it normally would cost. I don't know, it's weird. And so I ended up going into the post office and I was like, yo, like what's up with that? Because typically it's cheaper to print through Amazon than it is to go in to um, the post office. They don't, they couldn't tell me. So I was like, okay, whatever. But, you know, I didn't want to have to go into the post office because obviously, obvious reasons, right? Um, we live in a small town, so, you know, I mean, it's not like... Um, at least that we know of. We don't know of anybody in town that's sick, but anyway, we're supposed to limit our outings, right? Anyway, so uh, yesterday I had to go to the post office to um, drop off some packages and it was really nice to get out of the house. And I realized, I'm like, oh my goodness, I <laughs> just, craving that time outside of the house and it's just like yeah and you don't want to make up reasons to leave right so like anytime I know like oh I have to get groceries this week or you know typically I'm like oh I hate getting groceries but now it's like hmm sorry about that guys had a slight interruption with the children yeah and then I realized my book was kind of wonky over here so sorry about that uh, okay, now let's pick up where we left. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Anyway, um, I think I was talking about like going out and doing things, but I didn't like having to go to the post office yesterday. Um, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. And I've actually kind of been looking forward to getting groceries and those kind of outings where typically I would be like, but um, I wanted to pull in one of these little Bubba Bear Studios couch bears where he's going, ugh. Um, because um, I had been having headaches. Like I would wake up with a headache and I would go to bed with a headache and it was just ridiculous. And um, one second here.
And um, I kind of wanted to notate that because uh, just kind of keep track of it or whatever. Okay, back to this. All right, so I think I want to do some of these little fun stickers. Um, also, you'll kind of notice that um, it's I'm not consistent with um, like sometimes it bugs me when washi is crooked so I have to fix it other times it doesn't bother me this is crooked I don't care I'm leaving it um so yeah definitely don't have a lot of consistency with that and I doesn't bother me all right so one of these little sloth guys here she's so cute um and then I guess I said I wasn't going to do Friday, didn't I? But, yeah. I'm going to do some of it anyway, because I've kind of already started and kind of down that path. So, I wanted to put down this little snowing sticker with one of these Miss Moss girl faces. And I'm going to use this one, because that's exactly how I feel about that. And it's, yeah, I think we're all just over this weather because I, just, I really feel bad for the people that live in um, the cities because, you know, you, I mean, we're going to put a flower there because you know what? Flowers. And even though it snowed, keeping it positive, flowers, they're coming, guys. Um, yeah, so the weather and people being in the cities without, um, being able to, like, go for walks and stuff because it's so cold and, I mean, you can still go, right, but it's just kind of a, yeah, makes it a little bit harder and less enjoyable, so that is just not fun. I like using these little circle stickers for just random things. Okay. Um, now I want to write so for Thursday. Write that I went to the post office. Yep, looking for a specific sticker and I cannot find it. And then I'm going to use this to make a list for the day. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put kind of something kind of down here because I didn't use all those dots and that just bugs me. some of these little stickers and a lot of these I got um, I've got I've gotten them in like swap boxes or whatever I think these stickers are really cute this is Bubba Bear Studios and this one says dear self you rock sincerely me so that's that little reminder there self-talk positive self-talk right so these I got from my friend Emily Emily Emmy Lou Arts um, she hooked me up with all these and they're so cute sorry for all the sorting and flipping and whatnot oh I don't like that shoe. some shows that I caught up on
Okay. Go through these here. And, uh, oh, this book, the book one I wanted to pull off to put on here that I worked on the kids' grades. And I'm trying to think if there's something else on here I wanted to use. Oh, this little espresso machine. I do not have an espresso machine, but I wanted to, um, I'm going to go make myself a cappuccino here in a minute. I have a, um, what's it called? A Ninja coffee bar. And it will make um, similar to espresso. Poor man, poor man's espresso machine is what I call it. Um, and it's so good. So I am going to go make myself one of those when I am done here. So I wanted to notate that and. This little relax sticker with this cat and the little heart or the little flower coming out of his head. <laughs> I'll put that down too. All right, and TV, little TV guy, there. I love these little pandas from Happy Scrappy. So I wanted to pull him in, put him right there. Uh, today was trash day, so I want to make sure. I don't know what I want to put it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, let me get a drink of water here. Okay, I like to make sure I notate that. Um, in my journal too when I when it's trash day because then I can kind of keep track of that. And these little three cats here are just too cute. So I'm gonna put them right there. And speaking of cats, so we have a stray cat that has made herself um welcome in our one of our outbuildings. Um, she is like super wild, right? So this sticker right here with the little crazy eyed cat. Yeah. So yesterday I, um, we have a dumpster and I went, I looked out, I opened the blinds in the morning and I looked out and she was sitting on top of the dumpster and we had the lids closed. So she couldn't get in there and she was hungry. She's been here for like, I don't know. She's been here for a while, several months. And she's always, you know, found stuff to eat and just didn't worry about it. And yesterday I looked out there and saw her and I was like, oh, I felt so bad. So we had some uh, leftover shredded chicken that had gotten left out. And so I, um, I knew we couldn't eat it, right? Because we've been sitting out. And so I um, took that chicken out and put it where I knew, because she takes this, the same path in front, of the t in front of the house every day. So I put it out there where I knew that she would find it. And she did, and she ate it. And so then I texted my husband and I was like, um, I think we better get some cat food. Hmm. So. We haven't named her yet. She's super wild, like I said. Uh, but we'll see. So, feed a stray cat. So my husband bought some cat food and we put it out for her today, so. Uh, well, we still have not named her. And I don't know whether we really want to because we live in the country and so cats, we've had cats before and they always get hit by cars on the highway. So, and then I just want to write that I, 
uh, catch up on my shows. Uh, and I've been watching Little Fires Everywhere, which is a really good, it's weird. It's kind of weird. Um, but it's one of those, so like it, every, like it's a Hulu original, you know, so every Wednesday they upload a new one and uh, kind of like they do with The Handmaid's Tale. And um, so you have to wait a week. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like I just need to know what happens. Like in this day and age of where you can just binge watch whatever you want uh, and watch a whole season. It's torture. So I've been watching that. And then I also started uh, Survivor, this the new season of Survivor. I'm getting desperate <laughs> for things to like watch while I'm doing a craft or, you know, just sitting and vegging out. So I started watching Survivor again. So, all right, cappuccino. Is it two C's or one? I think it's one. And trash day. And then more snow. And so I think I'm just going to leave that blank to fill it in um, when I also I'll do like the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, and maybe I'll film it on Monday. I don't know. We'll see. So, okay. I think that does it for today, guys. Um, yeah. So I'll do a little flip of the week here. I'm going to see that. So there you go. So thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay safe, stay home and yeah, stay kind. And most importantly, be kind to yourself. Uh, it's always important, but right now it's really, really important. So, all right guys, we'll talk to you later.